if you don't have any nursing experience, you can apply and start your application process sa NMBA. my channel if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification bell for you to get updated for all my future uploads by the way my name is Raymond your Pinoy nurse here okay team what's up so this is another sit down vlog for all of you and today we are going to talk about the new NMBI application process yes I know I already did this kind of video before and let's just say that the first video was just an introduction of the whole process and a lot of you are messaging me about the step-by-step -step of this procedure. So, paano ba yung mga first few steps na kailangan mong malaman para makapag-apply ka dito sa Ireland? This is a step-by-step, -step, a tutorial of how you navigate the NBI website and of course to start your NBI account. So, if you were interested about this video, please keep on watching. You can see now in the screen, so this is the NMBI website. So just type in your search engine NMBI or www.nmbi.ie and you will be directed to this website. As I've mentioned before guys, it is very important for you to understand the process, okay? So this new platform of NMBI was launched last year and they said that this platform will make the process easier and of course faster. Since this is a new platform, so there's a lot of things that we have to understand, it is very important for you to know where to locate the applicant's user guide. And please guys, this is our Bible for this process because this will give you a definition of terms a shape of process and more documents then. Now, let me show you where to find that, okay? So you just need to go to registration, so you can see it here. So on your left hand side, so you will see here a lot of um, tabs that you can click on as well so you can read all of this details okay but you can go directly to qualified outside Ireland so that is where we are okay we are qualified nurses outside Ireland all right so just go the very bottom and you will see here applicants user guide so just download that you can just print it so you can better understand or you can read it anywhere you go please do so also in this applicant user guide um, there's a synopsis, a summary of the process because we have two processes as I've mentioned before the qualification recognition and the registration process, okay? I will just quickly show you. So this is the process. This is just the summary guys. You will see your qualification recognition process. So you will see it there and the next page would be the registration process. Now, just to give you an idea, your registration process, guys, this will be done or this will be initiated once you already finish your adaptation or your aptitude test. So, meaning, kapag nandito na sa Ireland, all right? If you are in the Philippines or if you are um, in any part of the world, primary concern is the recognition of your qualification status, okay? So, this is the process that we are going to talk about. Okay, guys, so we are back here in the registration tab of my NMBI website and check or, or click on my NMBI, all right? So, you will see it here how to set up your account in my NMBI. Now, if you have an ongoing process with NMBI using the old system, so I am assuming by now you have already received an email wherein the username and password is there for you to log into your my NMBI account so if you have it already you don't need to create a new account to my NBI okay but if this is your first time to interact with my NBI so this is how you do it so you will see it here guys this is my NMBI, okay? You will see the instructions on how to set up your account. Now, if you are a new user, you will see it here. Please create a new my NMBI account or new account in my NMBI. You just need to click on this. You can hover in this and this is hyperlink actually. And you will be directed to this um, interface. You will see here, welcome to nursing and midwifery board of Ireland, okay? Now, as I've mentioned earlier, if you have the username and password already, you just need to log in your username here and the password on this side, okay? However, if you are a first time applicant, okay? You just need to click on this. Please click, make, please click here. You will see here, welcome to NMBI and just create, for the first time user, just create a new account, okay? Just click on that. And here, this is how you set up your account. Make sure that you put the first name, 
last name, email, password, and the repeat password for confirmation. And just click on this and then submit. Then afterwards, you will be receiving a verification email to your email address that you put here and just click on the link and you will be directed to the interface that I mentioned with username and password. Now, just a reminder guys, just make sure that the first name and last name that you will put in here is the first name and last name that you have in your passport, okay? Because it is very important, I know, for example, married ka, but you're still using your maiden name for your passport. I would suggest that you still use that, okay? Otherwise, just renew your passport, just update your marital status there and your name, and then use that for your first name and last name because it will take time if you will email the NMBI to rectify. Hindi mo siya mababago in the next procedure that I will show you, okay? So just be careful and be mindful of that. All right, now my wife has an ongoing application with NMBI, so I'll be using her email just to show you guys how it looks like. So once you have your account set up, your username and password, so you will be directed to this. Welcome to my NMBI account. So if you were a first time registrant, so you just need to go to overseas recognition because this is the process that we need to accomplish for you to have your decision letter. This overseas registration, guys, basically you already have your um, RGN pin here and you want to register to another division. In registration to Ireland guys, we always choose the general nursing, okay, or general nurses. Now, if you have your specialty like children's or psychiatric, you can do so. You can register to that division as well using this overseas registration. So if you will go down guys, so you will see here the services available for registrants, okay? So these are all the services that you can choose from kapag RGN ka na. So let's go to your account. On the left hand side of your um, monitor guys, you will see your home, my account, my application, registration services, my appeals, and then help, okay? So you just need to go to my account and you will see here your documents. So my documents, you will see here the documents that are uploaded already in your account. So just click on that for you to see. So currently we have this documents uploaded so far. Go to my personal details. As I mentioned earlier, that's very important that you put on the correct details. So the first name and last name, this is not changeable. So just make sure that you are putting the correct details. Place of birth, nationality, and then the address. Address can be changed as well. So in the address guys, I would suggest that you put on the address that can receive a correspondence, okay? Correspondence meaning the letter from NBI because by any chance, they will send you the decision letter and uh, it will be sent to that address. The, the phone number, just fill it out. And then the primary language, secondary language, and the third language, all right? This is the one I'm telling you guys. If your first name and last name is not correct and you want to rectify it, you can request name change here or request gender change here. So let's go to your registration details. This is still on the left-hand side. Since wala pa naman, supposedly you will have your registration number once you already have your decision letter. So that's empty. My employment details, since hindi pa naman kompleto tong account na to, this is an active account guys, okay? So wala pa, all right? So for you to go to your application, just go to my um, application. So this is the My Application tab, guys, okay? So you will see it here, Overseas Registration, okay? So as you can see, guys, I have three tab, uh, drafts here because we are trying to understand as well this My NBI. That's why I created another account, okay? This was dated April 6. But don't you worry, guys. So this drafts, since this is drafts, so these are all not submitted yet to NBI. But these are all drafts because these are all incomplete. For as long as it's not submitted yet, you haven't paid anything yet so it will remain in draft okay for the purpose of this video guys I will press the uh, latest one you will see here four steps okay so personal details step 3 is the qualification pathway step 3 is the submission sets and then step 4 is the payment summary okay so this is step 1 so personal details same as what you saw in the my account tab so you will see here the details okay so if you have anything to change you can change that to my account if you want to request for your name change so this is step two guys which is the qualification pathway now these are the things that you need to answer correctly okay so you will see here in the recognition path it should be non-directive g3 so this is our classification guys those who are working or those who are qualified nurses outside eu 
okay so we are here in the non-directive g3 guys these are crucial okay so you just need to understand as well these questions number one select division of which you're applying to register so as i mentioned earlier guys it should always be general next question guys are you an eu national no okay so we are not eu national so we are filipinos so the answer should be no are you a family member of the member state national no have you ever granted refugee or subsidiary um, protection status? So the answer here is no. And are you a family member of a person who has been granted refugee? The answer is no there. So it will show you non-directive G3. So if you will click on next, you will be directed to another series of questions. So after the series of questions I've showed you earlier, guys, you will be directed to another set of questions, okay? Since my wife's account is active, we already answered it and I couldn't show you any more to this uh, video. However, I have one of my subscribers here who uh, sent me this, okay? So you will see here now in your screen, uh, these are the questions that you need to answer as well. Did you attain your qualification within the last five years? Qualification within the last five years. So it only means that you have registered in PRC in the last five years. So if you were like me, I graduated 2009 and registered on that year as well. So it's not within five years, right? So the answer there, it should be no. If you graduated just recently and have your PRC registration, so the answer there should be yes, okay? Next question would be, have you practiced for 12 months in the last five years? So Vito guys, papasok yung new update ng NBI, okay? Because from the latest update dated March 25th, 2021, they said that the minimum requirements of one year experience nursing experience within the last five years is now lifted it only means that if you don't have any nursing experience you were okay and you can apply and start your application process as an mbi that's a good news guys next question guys if your qualification one of the following state enrolled nurse state certified nurse licensed practical nurse vocational nurse etc the answer here guys should be no okay unless you are okay so here guys should be no so as you can see here these are the terms that we are not using in the philippines so wag natin gawing komplikado ang ating buhay okay so we are not one of those so the answer should be no last question here guys have you studied an extra course leading to registration as a first level nurse so this is actually a follow-up question from the preceding question and uh, she should have answered their no dun sa are you one of the following i say if you will answer this have you studied an extra course no you will be non-eligible so it only means that you are an lpn a nursing aid position and as i remember there's another question there i just couldn't recall so if you know it please comment down below as well so after those series of questions guys you will be directed to this next sets of questions so you just need to answer this carefully so is this an additional qualification recognition application so the answer here should be no okay otherwise if this is your additional division application so you should put yes so for this purpose guys so it should be no all right so the recognition path here is non-directed g3 so we are in good and right fast all right so now guys in this step you will be starting to upload the documents required for your application so isa isa natin yan so sa passport guys it has to be ctc or notarized okay so pag sinabi ctc it has to be a certified true copy as so you can process this sa mga notary republic kung nasa ibang bansa mo kayo just go to your consulate just to have your passport notarized okay so you just need to upload that and you have your minimum requirement here para upload siya ng maayos so next is the uh, evidence of formal qualification or diploma based experience ng mga nauna nang nagprocess using this platform it has to be certified true copied as well ctc or notarized so next guys is the other relevant training previous compensation measures so this one guys compensation measures kasi this is a technical term here in ireland actually in Europe, okay, that refers to your adaptation or aptitude test. So for example, you are a registered nurse in Germany or Finland or any part of Europe and you undergone any compensation measures or additional relevant training, you can add your documents here. Next would be certificate or certificates of current professional status for all jurisdictions. So if you can see it here, it should be issued in the last six months by your competent authority. So in our case, 
PRC. You just need to provide to the NMBI your board certificate, board rating, board passing. If you have an experience sa abroad, for example, ako sa Saudi, so you just need to provide the certificate of good standing from Saudi Council or from any other um, countries that you worked into. So lahat ng jurisdiction guys na registered ka. So based experience among applicants guys, NBA is asking PRC to communicate with them, to email them, to verify your registration sa PRC. So applicants are communicating with PRC and emailing them with that request from NBI as well as the reference number that NBI has given to them. Okay? Kasi without the reference number, malilito ang NBI kung kanino bang account yun. Okay? So, just do the same. So, next would be translation of any documents that are not in English. So, if you have any documents that are in Arabic or German or anything, not in English, you just need to translate that. So, it's a previous guidelines ng NBI. You have at least one year of nursing experience. But since March 25th, sabi ng NBI, even though wala kang experience, you are welcome here in Arden, okay? But assuming that you have an experience, just click on add and you will see here, these are the things that you have to complete. Okay? Guys, your email, NBI is asking for a work email. So here you have to upload the proof of professional experience. So proof of professional experience, guys, you have to complete or you have to have your employer complete the employer reference form. So tatanungin niyo ako, nurse Raymond, where can I find that? Guys, and lang siya sa baba. So, previous experience form to be sent to the employer. So, for the purpose of this video, let's, let's click on that. So, you will see here, employment form. Okay? So, as you can see here, guys, we have a sample. Alright? So, you just need to ask your employer. So, sino ba dapat ang magkocomplete nito, guys? Basa sa guidelines ng NBI, it has to be completed by your nurse manager, the director of nursing, or your immediate superior. So, you just need to ask them, guys, to sign every pages and have it stamped if possible okay but having stamp is really necessary essentially yeah comment down below if you want me to discuss further about the forms that you have to submit to nbi okay because i'm just giving an overview for this purpose okay so just to add up guys nbi is asking for your latest employment yan naman yung nakalagay dun sa applicant user guide however base experience ng mga nag submit na ng application NBI, some of the assessors are asking for your previous employment, okay? So better yet, so just ask them to complete the forms, okay? So just submit the form to your first employer and then to your latest employer and then just upload it in your NBI just to avoid the hassle. So next, guys, is your qualification information. So sa so qualification information naman, guys, dito na papasok yung ating school information or school credential. So what are the documents that you need from the school? So number one, guys, is your diploma. So based on NBI, guys, it has to be latest and it has to be notarized or certified to copy as well. So you have to do that. So that is based sa mga experience sa mga previous applicants. Secondly is the transcript of training and transcript of records, okay? So yun yung may mga RLE, uh, clinical hours, etc. And there are some applicants that their assessor asks for a certified true copy of that as well, okay? So diploma and then the TOR or transcript of training. Just might as well do it para avoid ng hassle. So next would be your course syllabus or your curriculum. So course syllabus, may mga ibang applicants na napakarami, ilang pages, hundreds of pages ang course syllabus. So if by any chance that ginawa mo ng lahat, kinompress mo ng lahat at hindi mo pa rin ma-upload, just email that directly to NMBI, okay? And they will sort that out. And the last would be your qualification form. Yes, may qualification form na kailangan i-complete ang school. Saan ba makikita yung Nurse Raymond? So, nandito yan. Sa qualification form to be sent to Educational Institute PDF. So, just click on that and it looks like this. Alright? So, the school registrar knows about this already. Okay? So, just make sure that they have the official stamp here and the signature. And they will complete this as well. Okay? So, you will ask me, Nurse Raymond, Sino ba ang magko-complete ng qualification for? All the things has to be signed and completed by only one staff, okay? So, if you request it, actually, 
So, one person lang talaga yung nagsasign. One register officer lang yung nagsasign. So, chinek ko lahat yung TOR, yung diploma, and also yung qualification form. So, isa lang naman yung nagsign. So, just make sure that your forms are also the same. Otherwise, NMBI will ask you. So, guys, after you uploaded and completed all the data needed for your application, all you need to do is to submit it. Okay? So, for example, yes and next. So, after that, you will be directed to the payment summary. So, the payment summary, you will be paying 350 euros. If by any chance NMBI will ask you something to verify the information that you uploaded, just complete it within six months. Otherwise, you will go back to zero. At ayo naman natin mangyari. Once it's all submitted, you just need to wait for at least three months. Okay? Say yun naman yung sinabi nila, 90 days. So you just need to wait patiently and pray that everything will be fine. Okay? And if you have any queries, don't hesitate to email NBI. And just remember, guys, I know that this situation that we are having right now delays a lot of things and that includes NMBI as well. I know it's very frustrating. I know some of you are in the verge of pulling out the application and considering other countries. I understand you guys, but since na simulan nyo na, lagi ko sinasabi, let's finish the race, okay? So always pray for this application, guys. Okay, so that's about it, guys. I know it's a lot video, na to, but I hope that you learned something from here. And please, if you already started your application and you want to share your experience about this, please comment down below. Let's try to practice by any hand in this channel, guys, okay? Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And if you haven't done it yet, please do subscribe to my channel. Follow my Facebook page, Nurse Raymond123. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.